Hello. We're going to demonstrate how to draw boxes using one point linear perspective. Before we get started, I recommend having all the supplies you need the one point boxes worksheet, a couple of wooden pencils sharpened and ready to go, an eraser, and a ruler as your straight edge. The first thing you want to do is start by drawing in the horizon line. The horizon line is the line spanning the width of your drawing area as represented in the bottom right corner of this box's worksheet. You want to put the horizon line towards the middle of your drawing area. Make sure you don't just draw a straight line diagonally on your ruler. You want to make certain that you have your line as perpendicular to the sides of your drawing area as possible. The best way to do that, line your edge of your ruler up to the indicated black box. I would suggest all learners draw lightly when doing their perspective drawings, but I'm going to put a little more pressure down so the lines show up better on the screen. Next, I'm going to draw three squares, approximately one inch in size, one on top of the horizon line in the middle, one above and one below. Do your best to make your squares perpendicular to the sides of your drawing area. You can see that as demonstrated by the ruler lining up against the black line. I have to reiterate, I am drawing a little bit darker so students can see the marks better on the screen. I'm going to draw a box directly on top of the horizon line, approximately one inch in size. All right, so we have three one-inch squares on our drawing area. Next, we're going to assign a vanishing point. A vanishing point is where the lines that are diagonal all meet up or converge. I'm going to put mine towards the middle, as indicated at that black dot there. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. In fact, it doesn't have to be in the middle at all. You could put it slightly to the right, but for the sake of our exercise, I place it towards the middle. You are now lightly going to, with your ruler and wooden pencil, connect all the corners back to your vanishing point, except for the corners that would require you to draw through the squares. I'll repeat that again. Don't draw any diagonal lines if you have to draw through the squares. There are three visible corners on the top square I'm going to connect back to my vanishing point. I would not connect the top left corner because I'd have to draw the square through the square to do it. There are only two corners on the middle square because I'd have to draw through the corners through the middle of the square to connect those corners back to the vanishing point. And lastly, three corners go back to the vanishing point on the bottom square. These diagonal lines are called orthogonal lines. Orthogonal lines is a phrase you'll hear me use a whole lot through these demonstrations. After we've played, placed all of our orthogonal lines for the squares, we're going to go ahead and cut off the depth of these perspectives. The easiest way to do that is to start by picking the top orthogonal line, picking a point on there, I'm going to say approximately right here, and I'm going to make a dot right there. This dot allows me to line my ruler up making sure it's not diagonal, but perpendicular to the sides of my drawing area. And I'm going to draw down until it touches another orthogonal line and make a dot there. I will continue this process further by lining my ruler up perpendicular to the sides of the drawing area and drawing from a new dot until it touches the left orthogonal line. 
as you can see, I have three dots and two lines cutting off, creating the look of depth on the box. I'm going to pick another orthogonal line right here, make a dot. I'm going to make sure my ruler, this time I'll make it perpendicular to the bottom. And I'm going to go draw down through the horizon line until I touch the next orthogonal line and stop. So only two dots necessary to give the box depth. Lastly, I'm going to pick the nearest orthogonal line, let's say this one right here. I'm going to make a dot on top of it. I'm going to line my ruler up, this time to the side of the drawing area. And I'm going to draw from left to right until I touch the next orthogonal line. There, I'm going to make a dot, as indicated on the screen. You can see that I've got these two lines cut off. There's only one more mark left to make. Make sure my ruler is perpendicular to the edge of my drawing area. I'm going to draw down until it touches the last orthogonal line. I'm going to make a dot. At this point, I've completed the drawing of all the three-dimensional boxes. Next, it's important that I go ahead and clean up all of the orthogonal lines and horizon line data that I no longer need. There's only so much information I need to accomplish the depth, and I've done it. Now I just need to clean up my art. <laughs> now you're going to see why I requested you guys draw lightly. It's really a mess if you draw dark to create a cleaned up perspective drawing. You can see a lot of the strokes still remaining on the image. If you did a good job, you created what we call the illusion of depth using linear perspective. The terms I used on this exercise were, first, horizon line, where the sky and the ground meet. Vanishing point, the perpendicular lines were used to create the shapes of the square boxes. And lastly, I used orthogonal lines or diagonal lines to create the illusion of depth for the one-point perspective boxes. Thank you for your time.